Hello everyone and welcome to the Mid-American Stock Car Series Morris Mayhem Recap Webisode. Later in this webisode, we will also preview this Saturday's Dell's Duel Part 1 at Dell's Raceway Park. The rains tried to spoil Mid-American's first trip in four years to Illinois' finest third mile last Friday, but with the sunshine poking through the clouds at about 4 p.m., officials decided to run the event as scheduled. With a slight delay in the beginning of qualifying, 26 teams took time trips around Grundy County Speedway. In his first ever appearance at Grundy, Brian Box set fast time. Adding to his fast time at Rockford, Bach is now 2 for 2 in qualifying efforts in 2010. The field was inverted 11 positions for the 40 lap feature. Scott Null and Lyle Nowak led the field to green and paced the initial circuits. Null's day ended under a lap 4 caution with a broken axle, while Nowak led the first half of the race. After the halfway point, Jeremy Bloomberg and Bach were the two cars to watch as they worked the high line through traffic. Bloomberg passed Nowak on lap 27 and held off Bach to take the win in front of a pleased hometown crowd. One of the biggest wins that I've had. Uh, I won an MSCS when they used to do that. Probably my first night out in the car. And, and this one, those all three really tough ones to beat. Uh, this one ranks right up there with those. So um, thank all the crew that helped. Uh, the car when we got here was very good. And, Great job putting it uh, back together. Uh, thank the Lord. Couldn't have done without him. The uh, car was, like I said, for some reason it just came in with those last ten laps when I had Bach behind me and I knew he was super fast. But I don't know what it was with those last nine laps of the race. That was when the best car was the best. So, good Lord, had to do something with that one. Although he couldn't pick up the win in his first trip to Grundy County, Brian Bach was tremendously pleased to come home second. Oh, I'm real happy with our run, Nate. I figured that this would really determine how well our whole season might go because it was the only unknown in our whole schedule and to come home second, I mean, couldn't ask for anything much better. So. With his only unknown out of the way, Bach foreshadowed the next stop for Mid-American at Dells Raceway Park coming up this Saturday. I'm really looking forward to the Dells. One of my favorite tracks to go to. I mean, we ran really good there last year. Um, really looking forward to go back. Bach had a very successful three-race campaign at DRP in 2009. In May, Bach set the track record and stormed to the feature win. Bach finished 6th in July and 3rd in September after setting fast time and winning the Hankscraft Incorporated Dash for the Duel presented by Wintergreen Resort and Conference Center. When Bach and the Mid-American regulars head to DRP this Saturday, one DRP mainstay will be waiting to welcome them. Last year's DRP Superstock champion Mike Litchfield said he's always excited to welcome the travelers to his home turf, but hopes to have a better showing in 2010. We had good success on the Saturday night portion of the program, um, but, you know, when we ran with the Mid-Am guys, that was a total total different case. Uh, you know, for being be our home track, we didn't really run as good as I hoped we would have. Um, we ran on a different carburetor on our Saturday night portion than um, the, for the Mid-American races, but it's not a good excuse. <laughs> you know, we weren't, we weren't as fast when the Mid-Am guys came to town. Um, that's a credit to uh, the competition that's in the Mid-American series. You know, there's a lot of good guys, a lot of veterans, um, a lot of people that have been racing these starts for quite a few years. So, uh, you know, it, it was a definite learning curve for us when we came to race the Mid-Am races. Um, we took what we learned last year, what we learned over the off-season, and then uh, what I've learned running the late models so far this year. And I, I really hope that, uh, you know, We'll come, come ready to race this Saturday. Litchfield offered a prediction for this Saturday's Dell's Duel Part 1 and couldn't help but mention Mid-American's hottest driver. You know, it, it's going to be tough. You know, it's hard to predict these Mid-American races because, you know, there's always, you know, a good dozen cars and drivers that, uh, that are a threat to win every night that you guys race. So uh, I hope that we'd be a threat, considered a threat to win. Um, Obviously, it looks like Brian Box has been on a pair uh, of ways so far early in the season. Um, so, you know, he's definitely going to be the man to beat, I think, at the Dell. Litchfield had planned on running the full 2010 Mid-American schedule, but has decided, due to sponsorship, to run a few limited events. Fans of the Quattro Quattro can expect to see him at Dell's Raceway Park, and he hopes to have a good showing on Saturday. I'm just anxious to run the couple races I can race this year. 
and you know give it a good shot. I think I think we should have a good car come Saturday. That's all the time we have for this Mid American Stock Car Series webisode. We hope to see you this Saturday at Dell's Raceway Park for the running of Dell's Dual Part One. Qualifying begins at 4:30, with racing slated to begin at 6:30. Until then, don't forget to check out our website, www.midamericanracing.com, for more information.